Fall down. Mom, she's the one chasing me. Mm-hmm. I don't need to help me and do my homework, but you refuse. She didn't ask nicely. Anne, how many times have I told you to always ask nicely whenever you need anything? I'm waiting. Please help me and do my homework. You did not say it like a minute. Junior! Mom, she did Junior! I don't want to hear any noise. So, talk to your sister with us, I know it. My God. How did they find you? How did they trace it to you? The operation failed. Somebody probably snitched. And um, somehow we found out that our calls were being monitored. We all got served. Wow, wow. You know, I begged. Backed and backed. But a side of strike action is about pay. You know, we're only trying to fight for a little increment in our salary. That's all. I know, man. This is this is so sad. Very, very sad. So like this your job is. I don't even know how I'm going to face my wife. Do you want to come chill at my place? For how long? Eh? For how long? And what about your numerous women? <laughs> Forget that. I cannot prioritize women over my guy. It's not possible. And besides, things can change. You could get caught back. Change? <laughs> you say change? <laughs> Bro, I wasn't suspended. I was dismissed. Indefinitely. But this is not the end of the world. Okay, just calm down. I can only imagine how much hell my wife is going to make this be for me. This is why I suggest you should come chill somewhere for the meantime. Eh? Come on, man. Luck will follow you. Forget about the job. Come on. No. I'm going to go home. I did what I did for my family, for my wife. I'm not proud of it, but I'm, I'm going to have to live with it somehow. Okay? I, I don't have a choice. I, I just have to go. Are you not eating? It's now. <laughs> Oh, that's my princess. How is she? Fine, Dad. Okay, you guys go back to the table and go we'll come to you there. Yeah. You're welcome. Here we go. Oh, good. Oh, I just. It looks so much. Sit down. Your daddy is not so You can eat with your daddy now. Well, they're waiting for me. <laughs> of course. Okay, so we can all eat now, please, huh? Uh. Uh, uh, yeah, <laughs> so, how was school today?
Dad, you should not buy us gifts. Dad, you should not buy me gifts. And can you allow your father to eat? As you can see, he is very hungry. He's hungry. Let him eat. Missed. <sighs> How did you get yourself dismissed? Yes, okay, fine. They've dismissed you. Why did you come back? What are you doing here? What is the positivity of you now here, now that you are here? What exactly are you doing now? I mean, how are we going to survive? What, what exactly did you do? <sighs> okay. Now that you are back, welcome, sir. Welcome. Maybe I should go and look for DJ that you come and set so that we will throw a welcome party for you. Since you have returned penniless, shishi, nothing came back with you. Eh? Jonas, how are we going to survive? What are we going to do? You know, the least you could do, Mabel, is feel for me. Okay, I have just lost my only source of livelihood and, and you're here badgering me. I shall feel for you. I shall feel for you. I shall, I shall feel for you. Why? Is it feelings my son will eat? Or if they come and say, okay, oh, mommy, dad, give me school fees. I should give them feelings. They should go and use to pay school fees. They should go and use feelings to pay school fees. Jonas, you are talking about feeling. And you came, you sat down, and you ate the last plate of food I have in this house. Knowing that you are carrying this kind of bad news. This kind of, this kind of bad news. You, you sat down and you ate. You ate the last plate of food in this house. And you were harboring this kind of thing. Harboring this kind of bad news. You got dismissed. You got dismissed. What did you come back? Why are you not? I, I want to know. Why are you now here now? Okay, you don't have a job. You don't have money. You don't have anything. What exactly are you doing here now? I want to know. And you, you, you had the guts to, to open your mouth and you ate the last plate of food. When these children want to eat now, I will go and cook Phyllis. I will put, 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 put Phyllis inside plate and give them to eat. Or maybe you want to pay their school fees. I will carry feelings. I will send it to their uh, headmistress in school and pay with feelings. Pay with feelings. You ate the last plate of food I have in this house. You, you, you sat down and you, 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 you ate it. Broke man. Your mates are out there, out there looking for money. I don't know you. You don't. You you, you you're just carrying bad luck everywhere. You you are coming back to tell me that you got this. There's no job, no money, nothing. And don't come out. Eat. Who pass your mouth? to be here with you two. Hmm? When are you going back to work? Um, soon. Is it today or tomorrow? Today, tomorrow? Definitely not today. Okay? okay. When are you taking us to the park? Um, to the park, to the park. Um, okay, uh, I don't know. Anne, Anne. Yes, mom. Where is your brother? He's in his room. Yeah, go and tell him that your food is ready. Mom, where is that food? Oh, 
Your dad will eat with me later. Just eat. I want to eat with dad. I'm afraid it's your food. Eat it. Today, I'm so tired. Okay. Um, well, in that case, if you don't mind, I could go there. When? Today? I mean, I'm not doing anything here, so I can just go. Why? Eh? Why do you want to go to my shop? Oh, so you want to go there and be taking the things and run down the place? Look, I am still trying to be for that place, I beg. I don't want you going there and join it backwards, please. We we're talking about the shop that I sent you money to. Don't open for me! Don't, don't, don't open for me! It's not for me, it's not my own. It's not open for me. So why are you putting eyes inside my shop? Remove your eyes now. What's all this? Darling, look. Uh, please don't darling me. Don't darling me. Which one is darling? Don't darling me! Jonas, my man. <laughs> because I know your brand. Hey. Thank you. Thank you, man. Just have fun, bro. Thank you. Thank you. But this is not my problem, Paul. This is not my problem. I need the job. <laughs> you can laugh all you want. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I don't mean to laugh. Eh? You can laugh all you can you can laugh all you want. But after laughing, just help me with a suggestion. That's the point. What can I possibly suggest? What kind of job can you do at this age? What kind of job can I do? Am I, am I that old? Paul, I'm not that old now. I am still vibrant and young. I know, yeah. but you can't possibly pick your files and start working from one office to another looking for a job. It's not done. At this point, man, it has to be one of these hard labor jobs. And you think I can't do that? Look, I, at, at this stage in my life, I'm a finished man. My wife hates me. She, she doesn't want to see me. I need to do something. I need to find ways to provide for my family. That is, that is really sad. So what do you have in mind? I don't know. I honestly don't know. Because at this point, it looks like I've lost touch with reality. But I, I, need to, I need to start afresh. I need to start all over.
I know you. Yes, uh, I'm not mistaken. I know you. I'm trying to please your face, but uh, it, it kind of looks familiar. I just can't, you know. Just, 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 just try. I, I know I've seen you. You know. It's, it's not coming. Just. I knew I had seen you one or two places uh, before, you know. I remember vividly. It was you who called the police when my neighbor was molesting his wife. <laughs> oh, I see. I remember you now. I hope that gentleman stopped molesting his wife oh, after. Too bad. You know, after he was released. Too bad. The woman left with the children. Serves him right. Serves him right. A man like that does not deserve a wife like that. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, so, Jonas. Uh, What's the way forward for you now? Uh, I'm here now. <laughs> I'm here. Uh, I I needed a new start, so I I found myself here. So you want to continue like this, Jonas? Uh, if you don't mind, how much do you make here in a day? <laughs> so I, I I I at least make enough to send something back home. Yeah, it's way better than when my wife was taking care of everything. Yeah. Jonas, I have something for you. You have something for me? Yes. Something. You like What do you think would happen to me if they catch me trying to steal those sparks? I will be sent straight to jail. Then what happens to my kids? Look, I almost called for his arrest. How can you even say that? That's a criminal offense. Look, I have to go, okay? I, I need to freshen up and uh, rest. I'll, I'll call you later. Hey. Jonas, somebody offered you a deal and you turned it down. <laughs> well, it wasn't a good deal, okay? I He was asking me to... I, I heard everything. Jonas, I don't understand. How can you be concerned about an organization that kicked you out without a penny? But I'm not concerned about them. I'm concerned about my family. I'm concerned about you and my kids. If I get caught trying to steal that file, I'll be sent to jail. What then happens to you people? Please, Jonas. What difference does your presence make in this house? No, this house that you are in with us, what difference is your presence making? Or is it the trunk of fish that you think you, you bring home every day? Or the yam that you think your children will survive on? Do you think that's what your kids deserve? Mabel! You did not just say that to me. Uh, what you is I did not? I'm saying it to you. I'm here. I'm still saying. I'm say, I am telling you. This is me. Te I am saying it to you. You are telling me. I did not. I am saying it to you. And you heard me very, very clearly. An organization that kicked you out without nothing. Nothing, nothing, shamelessly, nothing. Nothing came back with you to this house, nothing. And you are here, you are concerned. You are, you are, you are concerned about them. Are you even listening to yourself? Jonas, now you better listen. If you want peace in this house, in fact, if you want to pass, if you want to smell peace, if you, want, if you don't have peace, you pass your nose in this house. You better know what to do. Because I will not take this rubbish. I won't. For using my children to be eating rubbish. Eh? When the world keeps on spinning and the seasons will change. Uh, oh, it's not the things you own or what you buy. But the love in our heart. Don't forget, your wife won't stop blaming you for being a failure. And you really need to save your face. Think about it. These people don't care about you. Look at the way they sacked you for asking for your rights. See, this is not going to be difficult. You already know how to penetrate them. All we are going to do is steal these files that contain their shady deals, blackmail them, and boom, start milking them from there. See, those few guys you were sacked with, they will be interested in this too. And you know it. Jonas. You and I know that these politicians, they don't care about us. All they do is hoard our money, 
spend them anyhow, and they keep us in starvation. Jonas, you take this chance, you are not going to regret it. What did you say your name is again? Daniel. Daniel. Then what, what gives you the impression that I, Jonas, would buy this? Hmm? Do you know what you're asking me to do? No. I am not a criminal. Do you know what could happen if I get busted? Huh? I'll be in hot soup. I know I may not be having the best of life right now, but I prefer this to stealing. So I'm going to ask you to, to bury this thought. And don't go preaching this to anyone else. I don't want to see you here again. Because if I do, I'll make sure I report to you. Ah, Jonas, I can see you are enjoying this messed up life of yours. It's all good. Good luck. I got a follow. I just know what Welcome. Welcome. Uh, we'll start the hustle now. Hey, bro, what's up now? Alpha, my girl, how yourself? You're working only there again. I've got to make you no know, work again. Uh, just like that? Nah, nah, that too. Who come be your guy? Why? That man will feel to your day now. Nah, I'm in the engineer one. I mean, they take care of you. Let's make you no know, work again. Let's make you no know, work again. Say, you're working only there again. Just like that. Thank you for, for the drink uh, and the biscuit. Uh, I appreciate it. You, you, you were asking what happened. <laughs> I, um, <coughs> I just got sacked from my job for asking for a pay raise. And, and now I've just been sacked from the block industry where, where I was managing where I was managing for, for refusing to to rob people. How long have you been around? A few weeks. And you didn't care to ask after us? Come on, it's not like that, Evelyn. I, 
I've, I've been struggling to find my footing, honestly. Okay, I, I can't even, I can't even, you know, I recognize myself anymore. I don't understand myself anymore. What is this story, Jonas? You've been here for over five minutes and you've not even asked after your own daughter. I understand you don't care about me. You've been caged by your loving, sweet, pretty wife. I get it. It's okay. But it's your daughter I'm talking about here. Your own daughter. You're supposed to provide for her. You should be there for her. You should care for her. You promised to be in her life, remember? Please, Evelyn. You think I don't care about my daughter? I do care about her, but I just told you that I'm struggling to find my foot. I don't understand. I, don't, I can't even identify myself anymore. Look, I have nothing to offer her right now. It will break my heart to stand before her and have nothing to give her. Please understand me. So what are you going to do now? I don't know. I honestly don't know. I, I, I intend to just get a job and, and start all over again. The bread for me again. Uh, I, I was supposed. I, uh. Annie, come. Right now, your daddy can no longer buy anything. Anything that is about daddy buy, daddy buy, daddy buy for me this period. Just remove your mind. You know why? Because your dad here does not have money again. He does not work. He does not do anything. Didn't you notice he's always at home with us? So now, anything concerning that day I want, that day buy, remove your mind, okay? Go inside. Why are you doing this? Which one is what am I doing? What am I doing? Oh, so me telling my daughter what is going on. That thing that is going on in this family. So me telling her now the truth is bad thing. You're asking me what am I doing? So me opening up. Oh, so you are planning to start lying to these children as tender as they are, small, small as they are. You want to start lying? You want to, you want to start feeding them with lies? My own children? Eh? For how long do you want to keep disappointing them? That they buy, that they will come with empty hands. That they are once, that they will come with empty hands. For how long do you want to keep up with this kind of lies? Are you not ashamed of yourself? They are lying to your children. Tell them the bitter truth. Let them know what's going on. You are asking me, what am I doing? Huh? Maybe whatever happened to you? Huh? You used to be a very loving, kind woman. But it's the same thing we are talking about now. We're on the same boat here because you two used to be a very loving, a kind, a giving, a husband that brings money home, a husband that buys gifts, bring it home for the two. You used to be that kind of husband. You two, what went wrong? Eh? What changed? Because it's the same thing that is doing the two of us. Never you know. You know I got sacked. I didn't just quit my job. You had an opportunity to turn it around. You had an opportunity to collect that job back. You had an opportunity to, to grab it back. What did you do? Eh? No, answer me now. What did you do? Were you expecting that I sold my house because I needed the job, because I want money? Eh, that is what I'm talking about. The husband that I married, eh? He will, in fact, he will use that thing and, and bath. He will use the potopoto and rub his body because he wants to give his children a good life. Because his children, his family, they are the number one people, the number one thing in, on his mind. The, the husband I married that I know, he will do anything. So this one that is talking, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know who you are. Very, very disappointing. You go, you come, you go empty-handed. Nothing positive is coming 
out. By the way, why are you at home by this time? I, I mean, why are you back? It's still in, it's, we're still in the morning. Why are you back? Daddy's home! Welcome, Daddy! Hey! How are my warriors doing? They're fine, fine, Daddy. I can see that. So, where's your mom? She's in the room. Oh, yes. <laughs> hey, uh, bring the back. Um, go. Do that, it's very well. You can run around. Single baby. Mm -hmm. well, I thought you were never going to come back. Well, we're this together, huh? Eh? This mm -hmm. for the life. Mm -hmm. I got you, baby. Let me see you. I can only turn back home. Mm -hmm. This is for you. Thank you. You're welcome. Wow. <laughs> it's just so much. It's coming inside. Let me show you. Oh, really? Uh huh. Yes, it is. Like that. Can you use the juice for me? Can you use the juice I was always going to like it. Don't try mine. Eh? Mm -hmm. Want to try mine? Mm -hmm. It's a special. Now you put a little something <laughs> special in there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, there you go, Dad. Yeah. I'm not going to say no. You like food just like that. Yeah. <laughs> Here we go. Yeah. So, what mm -hmm. about me? What about you, Mom? I don't need to say no. I know it's my way to come. Jonas. Now you agree that love is not enough in marriage. Even in relationships, you see, mommy. My brother, forget the fact they said it's a route to olive oil. Mommy is very essential in marriage. Love is weakened by time and circumstance. Yes, but when the money keeps coming, you are sure of your home, you keep your family happy, everyone is happy. No, Paul. No. Money shouldn't be an issue here. It shouldn't. <laughs> Maybe I'll just stop loving me and it scares me. I mean, I opened a shop for her. <laughs> I sent her half of my salary at the end of every month. <laughs> if she truly loved me, this would be the time for her to shoulder the burden of the family for a while. Something else is going on here that I don't know about. And I'm going to get to the root of it. Jonas, go and find the job. I'm sure if you hadn't lost your job, we won't be here talking about this. That's it. I want to buy me a Yes, he will. He's probably busy at work. Hmm? He said he lost his job. Yes, he got another one. So he'll come around when he's free. Hmm? Come on, cheer up. Hmm? You don't have to keep a sad face, okay? Mom, I haven't seen Daddy for months now. You will see him. He will come around. Hmm? Just focus on your homework.
and you can't sleep inside. I'm waiting for that. Eh? I'm waiting for that. Did he tell you he's coming back? Yes. Go and sleep inside. Stand up. Go and sleep inside, my friend. Go, 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 go and sleep inside. that name in this house. How dare you talk about that pathetic loser? Easy, father. Evelyn. Father. I am not going to waste any of my things on that idiot. My worst mistake in life was allowing him come any close to you, thinking that he was anything good. Father, please. I, I know you love me and you love your granddaughter, my child. You've been the one taking care of us all this while. But Father, please, I need you to, to help him. Father, I know he doesn't deserve any help from us, but please. This is what I want. Please help him. He's going through a lot. It breaks my heart to see him helpless. Please, Father, please. Um, Evelyn, are you actually the one having this conversation about Jonas? Are you the one? What has he done to you? This is the man that got you pregnant and denied it. Same person that ruined your youthful age and made you a mother unprepared. Same Jonas was the reason you could not complete your education. Father, I know all that. Like I said earlier, he doesn't deserve any help from us. But please, please, Father, I've forgiven him. I've, I've made peace with myself. Please, Father, help him. I have sleepless nights knowing he has become so helpless. He's going through hell. Please help him because of Tonya. Please, I beg you.
Answering his calls. Don't worry. He's going to answer. I think he's busy. Hmm? He will call back when he sees your missed calls. I go inside. Go and get your plastic and go get your lunch. Smile. Stop frowning. When the world keeps on spinning and the seasons would change. Uh, oh, it's not the things we own or what we buy, but the love in our heart, the money cannot buy. Oh, love is enough. Love is enough. Oh, love is enough. Love is enough. Love is enough. Love is enough More than the riches, more than the speed oh. Through every high and every low oh. Love is a treasure, it's everything oh. we need when I hey. ah, ah, ah. Where are you going to? To get food, of course Food Food, Jonas, food in this house, food Okay, tell me what food do you want to come and eat in this kitchen? Eh? Is it the money that you gave me to go to the market to put food stuff in this house? Or is it the food that you found at the back of this house that you want to come and eat? What food exactly do you want to come and eat that you are walking majestically into my kitchen? Oh, so you think I will sit down and be feeding a grown-up man like you? As I'm feeding you, I'm feeding your children. Eh? No talk now! I believe by now you've heard the word no food for lazy man. Jonas, that is your reality today. No food for lazy man. Go outside and make money the way you're made and making money. Mm. Go outside, go and look for money. That is how responsible men behave. They go outside and they go and make money the way they are made and making money. You see this kitchen? You will not enter, you will not eat. Now come and eat! Come and eat! Walking majestically into the kitchen as if you dropped money that I used to cook food and you want to come and come and eat it! Come and eat it! Your mates are making money, you are here, you don't want to even do anything for yourself, you don't want to better your life. Nothing, 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 nothing! They are walking majestically, you want to come and eat. Come and eat now! Come, come and eat the food, come and eat the delicacy, come and eat! Oh, it's not the things we own or what we buy, but the love in our heart, the money cannot buy. Hi, oh, you look cheap. How are you? It's fine. Um, Daddy, are you okay? <laughs> yes, yes, I, I am fine, baby. I am. I'm, I'm just a little tired. No, huh? you don't look okay. What happened? Come on, I promise you, baby, I am fine. Eh? Look at that, you know. Look at me. Eh? I'm very fine. I'm just a little tired. Hmm. Eh? Okay, we're calling you. Mom said you'll call back. Oh, my, my phone. I forgot my phone at home, okay? Um, you know what? I, I will call you, Mommy, when I get to the house, okay? Where are you going? 
Uh, I'm just going over the next streets to see my friend. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um, are you hungry? Mommy said you no longer walk and you don't look okay. Come share my food with me. Hmm. You're enjoying the meal, huh? The mother has always been a very good cook. Thank you. Hmm? A beautiful daughter. Eat, eat, eat. I'm going to leave the meat for you, but just, just take it over here. You're enjoying it, eh? quite normal business but what is going on with you at home? You look washed out. You look gone. Love is a treasure. It's everything The, the Jonas I used to know was a very vibrant and strong man. Is it just the job you lost or is something else draining you? Eve, a lot has been going on. And it all started after I lost my job. I lost my home. I lost my sanity. And everything that makes me a man. You know, I've just come to realize that love dies as soon as the money stops coming. Just shut up. Jonas, shut up! How dare you quote love? Did the money stop coming when your child was growing inside me? Did the money stop coming when you abandoned me with your child growing inside of me? Did it? Even after you had sworn to love me forever? <sighs> Jonas, I dropped out of school. And you moved on and never looked back. You, you never cared. My own father. My father disowned me. He took the intervention of my mother's people to get him to take me back after I was eight months gone. You moved on so easily like you never cared. And you sit here and let love fall out of your mouth? You have the audacity to mention the word love. Jonas, how unfair can you be? <laughs> maybe, maybe this is come up. No. This isn't me for what I did to you. Maybe this is me learning the hard way for my past mistakes. Okay, I, I know I can't say I'm sorry enough, but I am. To answer your first question, Eve, my life is gradually leaving me. I can't even sleep anymore. You know, waking to the next day is a... It's, it's so scary. It's like a horror movie. I'm really tired. I talked to my father about you. No way. No, no, you didn't. It was a tough battle, but he's waiting to see you and help you. Eve. That's why I've been calling you. But you still wouldn't take my calls. I swear to you, I don't even know who my phone is. Okay? God. I... 
I'm so sorry for everything I did to you. You... Th thank you. Jonas, go and see my father. And while at it, please look like a living man. Because if he sees you like this, he will chase you away. Thank you so much. Okay, I, I really appreciate it. And I promise you... Yeah, that... hold it. You're very terrible at keeping to your promises. Thank you. I'll just take my leave. Why is she calling you? And how is that your business? Huh? Have I ever checked who you talk to on your phone? Eh, that's because I don't go about talking to people that are supposed to be in my past. The mother of my child in the past? Are you kidding me? Oh, so she matters now. Eh? After you've lavished all your money on her. Spent all your money on her. Now you want to abandon me. That legally conceived your children. And follow her. Maybe nobody is abandoning anybody. Okay? Tony is my legitimate daughter too. So please hand me my phone and stop all of this, your, your unnecessary agenda. Where is your shame? Why is it that you don't have shame? Why did you carry all your shame and go and sell it in the market? Why is it that no shame, no atom of shame close to phone. you? Please give and me come and take it now. See the phone, take it. If you know you are a man, see the phone, take it. Are you insane? What is wrong with you? Can I have my phone now before I do something stupid? Give me back my phone. Jonas. Yes, sir. You're welcome. Thank you, sir. Thank you. My daughter still believes that you have life. But I doubt her. You hurt my daughter. You abandoned her. For the first time, I looked at my daughter as a failure. Yet, after all you did to her, she still root for you. She want me to help you. After all you did to her. After you ruined her life. You made her useless as a youth. You made her to abandon her education. Well. I want nothing but happiness for her. And that is why I'm doing this. If you fail her again, let me reserve my comment. She said you need a loan. 
and I ask, what do you even have to pay, pay back the loan? Nothing. But, hmm, I will do what I can for you. If I give you money, you will probably squander it. I will not give you money. Rather, I will buy you a car so that you use it to fend for your family. You may go ahead and squander it. Do whatever you want to do with it. But let it not hurt my daughter. Let it not affect her happiness. Because I care for her. Tell them coming with your school fees. Okay? Thank, Thank you, Daddy. You're welcome. Like, I'm sorry you missed classes for a few days, but I'm taking the day off to make it up to you. Okay? Good. Thank you. You're welcome. You know, here you go. But a little bit so I can give you another tip, sister. Yeah. Okay, just have it. Thank you, Daddy. You're welcome. And I have something for you too. Here you go. Mm. Thank you, Daddy. You're welcome. What is wrong with you? What, what's keeping you? Babe, you're not ready. I was hoping I'd drop you off at the shop. I'll find you at the shop. Okay, fuck yes, you. Sir, let's go. Um, I'll talk to you later. Oh, right, right. Let's go, let's go, let's go, guys. Come on.
Mom, did you sleep here? Yes, I did. Is your dad back? <sighs> yes, I slept here. But that is not work. Yeah, come, let's go get ready for school. Throughout through the night, your number was switched off, and you are telling me good morning. What was good about the morning? I was worried. I'm so so sorry. Okay? I'm so so sorry. I, I got an urgent delivery out of town, and my phone was bad. I had to leave it with the phone repairer. Yeah? Well, you should have used somebody's phone to call me now. I'm sorry. You should have used somebody's phone. I couldn't sleep all through the night. I am sorry. I didn't even know I was going to come back this early. You know, bad roads and all. Yeah? Uh, where are these kids? I need to rush them to school. They've gone to school. Uh, they've gone? Oh, okay. Uh, in that case, I should, I should just be in out here. Drop this. Okay. There's somebody. Just, just take a keep over there. Prepare something for these kids before they come back, okay? Okay. I need to rush out. Oh, yeah. oh I that. No walk. Mabel, I need to rush to work, okay? Since the kids have gone to school, let me, I have things to do. Uh, the kids have gone to school. At least spend some time with me. So we talk. Ah. <laughs> Baby, that's not possible now. I can't I can't be relaxing on a Monday morning as a poor man. I need to be out there hustling like my mates. So all these things that I am saying now is not entering, it's not making I'm not making sense. Maybe I'm not saying you're not making sense. I need to rush out. When I come back, we'll see and relax and do all you know, whatever you want us to do. Okay? I'll see At you. At least you want back. to take your shower. At least take 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 your shower. Wait, wait, wait. To a brand new Jonas. To a brand new life. <laughs> I'm so happy for you, man. So how is the family? Hmm. My family. Um, my kids are fine. I mean, at least it's good to see them all happy and bubbly again. Mm -hmm. yeah? <laughs> and your wife? She's fine. You don't sound so enthusiastic to talk about her. What's there to be enthusiastic about her for? Hmm? Now tell me. I mean, after she treated me so badly when I was down, I feel like there's more to it than just mere lack of love. It almost felt like she wanted me to die. Right? Like she wanted me out of the way so bad for some reason. I mean, now she's acting all loving and caring. It feels like I've been living with a stranger my whole life. Winner, you can never really understand them. After all these years? Well, I'm, I'm happy that she pushed me to stand to my feet again. At least for my kids. Give her a chance, bro. Give her a chance. I told you money plays a huge role in this whole family thing. Huh? She wanted her security and now she has found it. She's comfortable. Don't push her away. <laughs> push her away? Me? Why would I do that? She'll be fine. It'll be all right. Mm. This is good. Very good. I mean, Beer hasn't felt this good in a very long time. You can yeah? say that again. My <laughs> man!
would you like to sit or you're going back to Oh, work? Um, no, no. I, I have this client I need to go pick up, so I'll just run along. Okay. okay. <laughs> All right, give me a good girl, eh? Bye. 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 Attitude. What? What with this whole um, attitude? This whole silent treatment. This appearing and disappearing. What, what, what? I don't understand. Why are you treating me as if I'm a mom before the church in this city room that you are not seeing me? What's going on? You know, I, I just can't quite understand you. I had a good job. I was providing for this family. I was bringing money into the house, and then I lost my job. I became helpless. What did you do? You treated me like trash. You taunted me. Now I have a, an opportunity to, to, to restore everything that I have lost and, and you have a problem with it. What do you even want from me? I want you. Jonas, I want you. Why does it feel like I'm losing you? Mabel, you're not losing me, okay? I'm just busy. It's hard, right? Suddenly, you, you, your future is best for you. Mabel, Mabel, keep, keep, keep your mouth out of her business, okay? She, she's done you no wrong. I should keep my mouth out of her business. So, so, you, you are now defending her. I'm, I'm trying to say something. You are defending her. Oh! So she's now very important to you that, that you are shutting me up to defend her. Oh God, Jonas, where is your shame? Why is it that you don't have any atom of shame? Shame. Mm, mm. No shame at all. Anything shame like this, you don't have it. At least, know the difference between shame and having self My bro! So I don't have time for all of this. Eh? Okay. Okay, so I'm ranting. I am shouting like a mad woman. That's why you don't have time, Abby. No, I am shouting now. I don't know what I am saying. I don't know what I am saying. After I have suffered with you, making sure that both you and your children did not starve to death in this house, this is how you pay me back. No, this is how you want to pay me back. Yes, now. Maybe because you're already get, uh, getting small, small change. Small, small money that's already entering your pocket. It's what's making another woman to be entering your eyes. I thought this one that I have suffered with you. Small money, small money like this. Another woman in your eyes. No shame. No shame. You don't have shame. You don't have shame. You are a shameless man. A very shameless man. No self-discipline. No same principle. Very loose. Very shameless. Small, small change that is entering your pocket now. You have remember outside. You have remember outside. I'm, I'm forgotten who suffered with you. Who suffered with you? Come in. Baby. Baby, welcome. Okay, Andrew. How are you? I'm fine. <laughs> hey. So, is that for me? No, no, this is for Grandpa. You, you didn't go to the shop with your mom today? No, um, mom didn't go to the shop today. She went to town to buy some things. Oh, okay. Okay, I see. Okay, I see. so, when do you call grandpa from now? All right, all right. Grandpa. Oh. He's coming. Goodness. Good day, sir. Good day. You're welcome. Thank you very much, sir. <laughs> you must look good. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much, sir. Thank Please you. sit down. Okay. Uh, that's all, sir. Hey, you're talking of my appreciation for everything that you've done for me, sir. Thank you very much. I really appreciate it. <laughs> that's great. Wow. So, 
How is everything going now? Well, uh, things are fine. Um, my kids are back to school. We now eat three square meals. I really appreciate it. And thank you very much for all the things that you've been doing for me. That's interesting. So, are you thinking about savings at all? You know, I used to wonder why you should be working with such a big ministry without making savings at all. It baffles me. So it's it's the family. You know, I I always send half of my salary back to the house. At, at some point, I, I I could only just manage the little tips and uh, other jobs I was doing because I started sending the entire salary back home. You know, my kids, school, and all of that. But why don't you equip your wife with something? For the homestead to be strong, so that you'll be able to do some other things important at home. Well, you know, I, I did, I did. She, she talked about it at some point and I, I opened up a shop for her. And how is the shop doing now? It's, it's, the shop is doing fine. It's doing fine. You see, women are beautiful home builders. You need to always equip them for, to function well. You have to make sure that your wife is strong economically so that you'll be able to balance and do some other things that are important at home. You should understand that a woman is the stronghold of the family. Yes, sir. Um, so, with your permission, I'd, uh, I'd like to ask Evelyn to marry me. Ah. <laughs> Jonas, uh, I don't think you need my permission at this point. See, you did all you did with her when she was still very young. And right now she is a full-grown woman. Once you get her permission, all you need from me is to sanction it. <laughs> and I will give you my little time. That's all. <laughs> Thank you very much, sir. You're welcome. You're welcome. <laughs> mm. So, can I say what I Um, she went to town to buy some things. It's all right. Yes. You're welcome. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Thank you, sir. Hey. I really want you to marry me. <laughs> um, that's okay. But first, I'm going to have to talk to your mom, and let's hear what she says. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> you see, he has changed. I don't understand him anymore. I don't. I don't know. So, what, what do you think we should do? <laughs> What I think you should do is do everything possible to win your husband and get whatever you want to get from him. Yes. Do you think this is easy on me? Huh? I don't understand you. What are you saying? I know it's not easy, but believe me, you need to protect what belongs to you. Mm -hmm. What do you need money for again? But your husband is working. He's making money now. Oh, have you been listening to me? Have you been listening? I said he has changed. He no longer gives a damn about me. Oh, I'm sure if it has to do with his kids, he will listen. Believe me. He will. So, so you're not giving me the money?
going to marry dad. <coughs> Sorry. Sorry. <coughs> Come here. I've told you that your father is married. He has a wife with two kids. Your brother and your sister. <coughs> what if he wants to marry you still? So you want your mother to be your second wife? Hmm? Is that what you want? Mommy, do you love daddy? Love is enough. Love is enough. Love is enough. Love is enough. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Love is enough. Love is enough. Love is enough. Love is enough. I'm still lying here. Huh? I thought we were supposed to go to your shop together. Whoa. Maybell. Maybell. Jonas, at least you're checking somebody is fine. You're checking somebody is doing okay before you are waking somebody in the morning. <sighs> you, you're not feeling fine. But you were just... <sighs> I'm fine. You sure? Do, 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 you, do you want me to help you get some medication? Don't worry, I'll get it myself later. Well, in that case, I'll have to go to the shop alone. Oh, can you manage? I can't. Okay, um you can give me the address to the shop. I can I can go along. What is with you and this my show? What, what what is in this show? Hey, well, today is the only day I have to do other things. Alright? So if you have a sales girl there, like you said, or something, just give me the number and I I can call and look at the place. Um, Jonas, if you can't go today, you will go some other time when you are free. If today is the only day you are free, another day will come that you are free. It's not this one that somebody is sick now. It's, it's shop, shop, shop that you are talking about. Okay. It's okay. Um, I'll just be on my way out then. When the world keeps on spinning and the seasons will change, oh, oh, it's not the things we own or what we buy, but the love in our heart, the money cannot buy. Oh, love is enough. Love is enough. Oh. Love is enough. Love is enough. Love is enough. Love is enough. More than the riches, more than the speed. Through every high and every low. Love is a treasure. It's everything we need. When I see things are crashing down. I'll never drown, never even when the path may twist. Oh, yeah, yeah. Love is enough. Love is enough. Love is enough. Hello. No, I did not. I am resting today. You need this. Thank you. How's the day going? <laughs> you know, I just, uh, I told her she'd come keep you company ah. for a while, you know. Hmm. It's not such a love here, but, um... Come on, come on, don't, don't do that either. Don't chase me away. Jonas, I'm not chasing you away. You shouldn't be here. Why? <laughs> is, my, is my presence here making you uncomfortable? Tony has gone to school. I know Tony has gone to school. <laughs> what? 
hold up. You, you think Tony is the only reason I should be here? What else? You, Evelyn. You. What about me? You know, I spoke to your dad about you and uh, he said we could... We could nothing, Janice. Look, stop imagining things. You must be really crazy to think that you can just walk back into my life and change it. Come on, Evelyn. I'm not trying to change anything, okay? I'm, I'm just trying to right my wrongs. I made a mistake in the past, a very terrible one of that, and, and all I'm trying to do is just do right by you. Do right by me? How? Lead me through, please. How do you intend to do that? Roll back time and get me back to school? and maybe become the doctor I've always dreamt to be at my young days. Is that it? You feel getting married to me as a second wife will right all your wrongs? No, no, I just, I just want to understand. How do you intend to do it? Come on, Evelyn. Come on. Look, I know, I know that not everything can be completely made perfect again. But look on the bright side. We have a beautiful daughter together. You, you and I both could, could raise her in love. I've warned you to stop mentioning that word love. You do not know what it means. I, I, I'm sorry. Jonas, please leave. Come on. Come on leave. leave me alone, Jonas. Don't go. Uh -uh, go and leave me. the love in our heart. The money cannot buy. Oh, love is enough. Love is enough. Oh, love is enough. Love is enough. Love is enough. Love is enough. My brother. Hey. How are you? Oh, thank you. Um, where's this man? Him come on with Madame. Oh. Madame? Yes. Which Madame? What well, Madame will always call me? <laughs> this poor, my friend. Yeah. So, Paul has another Madame I don't know of. What well, Madame will always call <laughs> me? Yeah. Where do is, why am I even sounding surprised? Paul has numerous women in his life. Uh, anyways, when he comes back, just tell him I came looking for him. Yeah? Okay, okay, no problem, sir. Um, uh, what is that your name? Victor, sir. Victor, Victor. Take care. All right, no problem. Thank you, sir. This house this morning. You were sick. So sick that you couldn't get off the bed. Yes. And you didn't go to pick the kids from school. So where are you coming from? I couldn't stand up this morning. But now I can't move. Are you trying to say my movements have been restricted now? Huh? 
Abi, what's the meaning of this? Mabel, you have not answered my question. I think I don't have time for this. Welcome, sir. Yeah, how are you? Oh, fine, sir. I'll guide you as your friend, find you come out. Okay. When? I never took the way you come out here. Okay. Oh, check the record and let me know. Okay. Why are you staring at me like that? Please, if you want to eat this food in the kitchen, I beg you. Let it out. What is going on? It's my wife. Your wife? What about her? You know what, just, just give me a second. Just, just give me a second, okay? I'm still waiting. You know what? It's uh, it's it's nothing. Um, you know, she she told me earlier she had fever, and uh, it totally skipped my memory to 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 get her some medication. That's all. Okay. She can take care of herself. Let me attend to my customers. Don't be good, eh? So, do you have kids? Yes, yes. Catfish or good one. Send me this text message. Is this not you? Okay, huh? I beg, I beg, True color shows I, I, Victor. I'm not your enemy, sir. I'm not your enemy. I beg, just try run DNA test for your children. I beg. Even your wife, try to use condom for her body. I beg. Even your your friend, try to avoid them. I oga, avoid them. Strange lately. I just don't understand. It's just doing somehow. 
Who has he been talking to? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know, but I'm scared. I'm scared. You're scared? Oh, yes. Yes. But, but this is something you ought to have sorted long ago. Mm. Huh? Can you just forget about this blame game that you're trying to bring up? Let's look for a solution. What do we do? What do we do? Listen, just, just calm down, okay? Go back to your husband. I'll handle it. Okay? We need to do something. Trust me, I will handle it, okay? It's getting late. Are you okay? Um, so I, 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 I wanted to ask you the same question. You've been behaving weird lately. I don't know what's going on. You want to talk to me? Um, no, we're talking. Um, you've just been, you know, Acting strange, present, and I understand. I know it's work. I know you've been busy. I understand, but no. How are your kids? Our kids. How are they? Um, they are fine. They are fine. How, how are you? I don't know what's going on. I, I don't understand what's going on, but I was hoping you would make me understand what's going on. Is there anything you want to tell me? Um... I miss you. This is one of my nieces. Yeah, as a great connoisseur, you know now. <laughs> I know how to mix it. Come on. <laughs> what is wrong with you? Are you blind? What sort of nonsense is this now? Jonas! What, what, what sort of nonsense is this? What is wrong with you? Where's Tony? Why are you looking for Tony? Is she all right? Yes, she's fine. She, yeah, I, uh, she is. Uh, can I talk to her? About what? She's my daughter, right? Yes, she's your daughter. The same daughter you abandoned. I...
just have one question for you. Who is their father? Answer my question. Please, just let us go. We should not even talk about it. Just let us go. Answer my question, damn it! <laughs> How hard can it be for you to answer that one question? <laughs> Who is the father of my children? Come down, come down, see. I know that I've been dirty. I've been treating you anyhow. I've been doing rubbish. But please, not that it has been like this. Now just let us go. The kids are innocent, please. I know that I deserve to die, but you are not a killer. You will not kill me now. Please. Just please. Go, not come close to you. Not see us again. You're please. Bearing me. Don't make me ask you again. For the last time, who is their father? Who is it? It's Paul. It's Paul. It's Paul. It's Paul. It's Paul. It's Paul. I'll just carry the children and go. Please, please. So, what do you want from me? I want to marry you. What? Look, I don't. I know you're not ready, okay? And you, you can take all the time you want. But I want you to know that I am serious with you and I'm ready to go all the way. But what about Paul? What about Paul? I mean, Paul has numerous women in his life and you know he can never be serious with any woman. Do you like him? Well, maybe not as much as I like you. Well, in that case, I, I could talk to him if you don't mind. Okay. I, I want what you want. Mm. Fair enough. It's fair enough. So, you can have a drink. <laughs> with his child to be quick or married. The thing was, I found out very late. And, and then he, he started traveling, started traveling around and he left me with him and, and it happened again. <laughs> Twice. It happened more than twice. <laughs> Jonas. <laughs> Jonas. Give me my kids. What have you done to my kids? Just give me my children. I'll go. You must see me again, please. Just give me my children. They're innocent. I, I, just tell me where did you keep them? Just, 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 just give me my children. Let me go. Let me go, please.
than this beat through every high and every low. Love is a treasure. Yo, hey, yo, hey, please, oh, please, it's Jonas, it's Jonas, oh, it's Jonas, please, oh, Jonas, it's Jonas, oh, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, I just know that is it that he kills somebody or he hurts himself? Where is he? He's at the junction. I don't know. Please, please, call somebody to help him. You should not go and kill somebody. You should not. Hurry <laughs> now! Tell me it's not true, Paul. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Jonas. Paul, you've been having an affair with my wife for the past 12 years. I've been sweating my blood out raising your kids. And you're sorry? I told you. I told you I wanted you to take it as but You were so much in a hurry to snatch her away from me. Snatch her away from you? Yeah, you get mad. You came all the way here to tell me you want to marry me together. Ah, Bolo. Bolo, you and I both know that Mabel is not your girl, your girl like that. Yeah? Leave this one for me now. You know my man. Okay. What did she tell you? Um, well, uh, she told me that she likes me. And that we feel the same thing for each other. <laughs> How about Evelyn and her pregnant? <laughs> Evelyn is not ready. And we might end up terminating that pregnancy. Besides, her father will neither let her keep that pregnancy nor allow me marry her. Hold on. I am ready. Mabel is ready. We love each other. Just give us your blessings, ma. <laughs> My blessings. As our papa now. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Aspa. You know now. You know my guy. I know they do like this. What? What do you think you're rushing this thing? Come nah. on, take it easy. Nah, nah, I'm not rushing. I'm not rushing this. This is quite the perfect time for me. Wow. Well, if you say so. But you fold my hand. But, but no reason now. Nah. You're not my guy now. Nah. No reason now. Nah. Besides, you don't have anything to offer that girl now. Nah. Is it with this? Yo? Say who? <laughs> <laughs> my guy. Jonas, man. Paul Polo. <laughs> Jonas, you just got a new job with the ministry, and the best way to celebrate it is snatching my girlfriend. Your girlfriend? She was not your girlfriend. She was my woman. But why? Why her? Why my wife? I mean, you had numerous women in your life. I entrusted her to you, man. You promised to take care of my family while I was away. I never knew you were taking care of your family at my expense. Why, Paul? Why? I called you, brother Paul. Huh? Can, can, can you imagine? Somebody I called my friend. He has been sleeping with my wife for the past 12 years. The kids that I told him for. That is. Calm down. He's been sleeping with my wife. Somebody I called my friend. Somebody I called my brother. He even tried to poison me. What did I ever do to you, Paul? Why? What did I do to you? Go home. I don't have a home. The, the kids I taught were mine. The kids I've been toiling my life for belong to him. What am I supposed to do? Kill him? The kids will be fatherless. If I kill myself, they'll, they'll freely take over my home. Let's, let's go. So, so he, he, he can take my kids from me. That's going to happen over my dead body. You hear me? Nobody's getting those kids from me. You're not getting those kids from me. You're dead to me, Paul. You're dead to me. I don't think you can drive. Let me drive. It's okay. Damn you, Paul. Damn you.
When the world keeps on spinning and the seasons will change. Uh, oh, it's not the things we own our words we buy, but the love in our heart. The money cannot buy. Oh, love is enough. Uh, and what do, you, what do you think you're doing? Uh, what do you think you're taking them to? Listen, you can't take them away from me, you hear me? Uh, come over here, you both of you! You can't take them away! Come here! Get over here! Come, 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 come. come Get over here! Like this, no. You don't do like are not fit to be your mother. Do, just, you have no life, you have no money. You are worthless. You're going to ruin this kid, you hear me? You. All the money that I've been given to you, rather than open the business that asked you to, you gave it to your, your boyfriend and you opened up. Bear power law! With my money! It's devil. The devil, eh? It's devil. See that devil? That devil will punish you. You hear me? And let me tell you, let me tell you. You see, your man is going to jail. He is going to jail. He's a murderer. Get up, leave my house. I just give you my Take care of yourself. Don't do like this, though. Don't do like this. My friend, get your things and get out of my house. I go! Leave! I don't go empty, please. I said, leave. Please, please, don't. I don't do like this, though. I don't come back. Don't make me do something stupid. Get your things and go. Okay, okay, I'll do it. Yeah, okay. Neighbor! Remember, I'm going to hit you. I'm going to just. Get out of here. Get out Get out of here. Good day, Mr. Paul. Officer Stephen. Victor Kudoso. Where is he? Sorry. <clears throat> Your boy. He has been missing. Do you know where he is? You keep asking me about him. Am I his keeper? <laughs> I don't know. Great. Um. We found his dead body, and he was last seen in your bar. And his dead body was found in your property. Do you know what that means? His dead body was found in my property. Does that make me... Um, Mr. Paul, you are under arrest for the murder of Victor Kudos. Whatever explanation you have, leave it for the court. Please, take it. This is okay. Easy, easy. This is please. Please walk, sir. Pass. your food. Remember the doctor said that you need to eat well so the medication can work faster. Mm -hmm. I said that. Okay. So are you still going to marry my mom? <laughs> well I I'm not sure your mommy wants to marry me. Why do you say so? She likes you and she cares about you. I know. I, I know she likes me and she cares about me. But you see, I I wronged her. I I treated her so badly. Mm, yes, but she will forgive you. 
Do you want me to talk to her? You know, that wouldn't be a bad idea. But Tonya, why do you want me to marry your mommy? Okay, well, I know you like her and I like seeing you two happy together. Hmm. And I don't want to leave this house again. <laughs> oh, I see. I see. So how, how about I make you a deal? Okay? Whether I marry your mommy or not, you don't ever have to leave this house. Okay, deal. Deal. So, mm. oh, handshake. Yeah. All right. So we got a deal. <laughs> Can I eat my food now? Yes. Thank you. Have you eaten? No. Yes, I have. Oh, you have? You sure? Okay. Evelyn. Yes, Father. Are you sure? Father, he's suffering. I know. As much as I want to think that everything happens for a reason, I want to be sure of what you are feeling for him. Is it love or pity? If it is pity, be sure that the pains will go and you may lose it. You may lose the feelings. But if it is love, well, I will ask you to give it a trial. Father, I'm not sure. But I know I never stopped loving him. It's all right. Tell him to come and see me when he gets better. Father, are you serious? <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Father. You're the best. Thank you. Okay. Thank you so much. Okay, thank you. My daughter, okay. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> So when are you bringing Anna and Junior back home? Um, their grandmother wants to take care of them for now. And we told her here, they'll just be a handful for you. I'm not complaining. Remember you said you want one big happy family. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I did. Okay, I'll go bring them home tomorrow. Hmm, sounds great. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Mommy. Yes, baby. Um, Daddy wants to tell you something, but he's afraid you will say no. And oh, what is that? Daddy? Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, um, my father asked to see you when you get better. Did you? Do you want to marry me? Um, see who sees Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll have to see Grandpa first. Uh -huh. Yes, we have to see Grandpa first. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why I laughed. Big mouth. It's not true. You're a big mouth. You love mouth. Change. 
It's not as easy, oh no, what's it bad? But the love in our hearts, the money cannot buy, oh. Love is enough, love is enough, oh. Love is enough, love is enough, love is enough. More than the riches, more than the speed, through every high and every low. Love is a treasure, it's everything we need. When I see things are crashing down, I'll never drown, even when the path may twist. Oh, yeah, yeah. Love is enough. Love is enough. Love is enough. Love is enough. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Love is enough. 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 Love is in